go in the order of the games, why not? Why the hell not? So, we have... Let's go to the Mega Man Wiki. Uh, first up, we have Cutman. This guy. We know Cutman, right? Simple enough looking boss. He's got, I like the little scissor on his head. You know, because he cut stuff. Um... He's absolutely ridiculous, along with Gutsman in the Mega Man 90s TV series. His weapon's alright. It's got a little little arc to it, and then it comes back to you. It's a, it's a boomerang, basically. Uh, he's pretty basic, but he's pretty cool. I think he's got a lot of character to him. What, what, what do we think of Cutman? We're going to have to put all these guys somewhere. So there he is there. More graphical glitches. So yeah, th this is just Chrome for me. Um, depending on what picture you look at, you look at for Cutman, he kind of looks like a bunny. Or maybe he's got bunny ears that can cut, you know? He's kind of ridiculous, but I kind of like him, you know? I think I'm going to drop him an A. He's a start for a lot of people. Um, pretty well-designed Robot Master, I think. Even if it kind of looks like he's just wearing this, uh, you know, you, you look at the pixel art, like maybe he's just wearing tights. <laughs> Simple but silly. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's, that's what I think. He's also scissors, so what they were working with is kind of cool. I agree. I agree. I think Ace is good for him. I reserve the right to change my mind on any of these later. Based on potential input. But again, I, I'm... I'm this is a group project. Because truly, I don't think I can totally do this on my own. There's a lot of decisions to make. Gutsman. I'm literally going in order for, for each of the games. So that, that's how we're going to do it. Gutsman, construction robot. Is this guy. He's strong. And throw rocks. Also looks kind of ridiculous. Again, referring to the 90s TV show. Pretty ridiculous. It's your typical brawler. He, he pounds stuff. He lifts stuff. He's, uh... He's, he's a caveman of sorts. <laughs> he's, he's got that kind of vitality, I guess you could say. But that is, that is Guts Man. Not, not really a ton to say about him. I always kind of like the crystal in the middle. Uh, I don't know why. It's just, just kind of neat. Maybe I should be doing this in Edge. Some of these pictures just really don't show up right. It is what it is. I've gone too far. Anyway, that's Guts, man. He huge. I wonder if they show his weight on here. They do not. I imagine he's heavy as fuck. But Gutsman. He's also kind of silly. I don't know if I rate him as high as Gutsman. His build makes sense. It does. It does. Color choice, I think, is based on the time the game came out. That's very well possible. Yeah, everyone's just got black backgrounds except for Skullman that clearly got graphically fucked up on my Chrome for some reason. 
and um, all the Mega Man 1 bosses have the yellow background. So we, we, we ignore the backgrounds. Like, that's not a factor here. That's also why I wanted to pull up, like, better pictures. But, I don't know. Gus Man's kind of neat, but I don't know that I like him as much as Cut Man. I think I put him in B tier. I'd say that's good enough for Mr. Gutsman here. That's that, that's that's my thinking. Mr. Construction Robot. Then he goes in B tier. So next up would be Electman. And to be entirely honest. I'm going to show my very clear bias here and drive this motherfucker straight to his tier. I think he's one of the most well-designed bosses. He's in the very first game. Like, look at this guy. Even the chibi form in fucking Mega Man Powered Up. Look at him. He's fucking great. He's fucking great. Look at this guy. He's got the lightning mask. He's got lightning on the on, on the armor. He's got a cool color scheme. And I'm not even... I don't even like yellow that much as a color. This is someone's art, but still. There he is on fandom. Which is the wiki, because every wiki is on fandom. Actually, terrible sight, but, you know, whatever. You can't really prevent... Uh, going to it, unfortunately. Uh, but there's specific reasons for that, and I can't remember them off the top of my head. But anyway, he's just fucking awesome. Look at him. His weapon is also one of the best in the series as well. Like, use within the game. Colors work when the effect is considered? Yeah, for sure. For sure. He's an S. I'm moving on. Uh, that's, that's, that's my final verdict. I don't think I'm changing that one. Here's Iceman. <laughs> the Iceman cometh. Um, should have known I wouldn't get the results I wanted right away on that one. Alright, so here's Iceman. I always like this little Eskimo look. Honestly, the designs in the first game are pretty great. I think he looks cool in Battle Network from what I recall. Um... Find out. Electman EXE. Whoa. What is that? What what is this even? They gave him like an Egyptian look? Or the like Anubis or something? Like what the hell? And that's Mega Man with him, I guess. No, I I I got distracted. I wanted to see what Elect Man actually looked like in Battle Network, since uh, Josh mentioned it. Got sidetracked. So that's kind of cool in its own like different way. That's cool. Yeah, it's neat. That's a... It's, it's very different, but I like it. They have, like, these alternate looks somewhat in uh, Battle Network. Certainly not something I considered, obviously, having not, not really played the games, but those are cool. Um, so, yeah, Electman. Uh, no T. Just short for electric. Well, then again... You could possibly do it like that. But yeah, it, it like. No tea. So Iceman. Like I said, Iceman... Um, oh, I guess they do show some of the Battle Network stuff in here, don't they? Um, Alright, whatever. We're on the wiki. It's what it, it is what it is. So here he is. He's uh, It's not a ton to him. It's another pretty simple one, but like... 
He's got character, right? Shoots ice, obviously. There's an ice right there. A little ice slasher, it's his weapon. Iceman looks like a child. He does. He's cute. Look at him. I think this is the powered up version, if I remember correctly. Look at him. There's in the comics. Look at him looking all badass in the comic. Or the Mega Man Archie comic. I think Iceman is going to go right next to Cutman. That's what I think. His sprite, though. His, his sprite is, like, super dumb. So maybe we have to consider that, too. Maybe we have to consider the in-game sprites as well. Which is weird, because for these pictures I used, they're all the character selecting, which the character select is the sprites in the first game. Whereas it's just those profile picks moving forward. Someone who controls ice, why the Eskimo clothes? I mean... He's gotta keep warm? <laughs> it, it makes sense. Ah, Theme-wise... But if it, you do have a point there, like if he controls ice, why does he need it? Should be able to just survive in the ice. I think he gets minus points for Sprite. But then I got to consider everyone's Sprite. And I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I'm willing to do that. That's a little, there's a lot to consider already. What do we think? Do we do we want A or B for 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 Ice Man? Maybe maybe we'll put him in B based on what was just shared. Like, shouldn't actually need an Eskimo suit if he controls ice. B, but above Guts Man is is uh, I think the the, the call there. And within tiers, we can always go back and redo them. Because, again, like, there's so many of these fucking things. All right, let's move on. Um, Fireman. Fireman's the next one. We're just going to stay in the wiki. Because the wiki it's, in itself has a few different pictures to pick from. Unless there's no search in the wiki? Yeah, there is. Okay, never mind. Apparently, that's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Okay, there we go. Cool. Fireman. Fireman! So, here's Fireman. Fucking designs in the first game are on point. That's not Fireman at all. I don't know where that Fireman is from. Fired up. Original Fireman. There he is again. Looks a little more derpy there, but uh, that's pretty much Fireman. There's a good one. This probably came from the uh, the art book. There's Powered Up Fireman. So, for those who don't know, Mega Man Powered Up is a... a remake of the first game that came out on the PSP. And they also added two, two uh, bosses. I think it's Oil Man and Time Man, I think. Don't quote me, but I think that's right. Uh, they added two more Robot Masters in that version to round out the Robot Masters with the rest of the series and have eight. I also said I was tired of standing and I was going to sit for the tier list and I've yet to do that. So I'm going to do that now. Sit my butt down. But Fireman. He's okay. He's okay. Is, is my opinion on him. 
I do like the whole torch thing. Like his head is a torch. And he's got a little helmet, protective helmet. He's got fire coming from his busters, which is kind of neat. Probably had the bed since I have to get ready for work in a few hours. That might be a good idea if that's the case. What the hell time is it? It just hit one o'clock. I knew it was late, but like I didn't think it was that late. I actually thought it was uh, a little later. Okay, both those memes are pretty funny. All right, I got distracted. Um, <laughs> all right, so yeah, um, Fireman, he is a... Uh... I think it's another B tier for me. Maybe. Another A or B. We'll stick him in A. Because, uh, he doesn't have the, like, not quite logical thing going on that, uh, Iceman does. So, I, I think that justifies sticking him in A. Bomb Man's kind of dumb looking, in my opinion. I, I think of the, the first game bosses, he's... The most silly looking. There's Bomb Man. He's got this like mohawk going on. He's trying to look badass, but he's like got the color scheme of a Lech Man, except he looks kind of dumb. There's some other art. There's the powered up version. But yeah, the thing with powered up is everybody has like these chibi looks. Um, they did the same thing for Mega Man X. For the X series. Don't know if his designer exactly works for making him look cool. I agree. I don't really think he's... Uh, he's kind of dumb. He looks really dumb there. He actually looks like... A What's that? There's a there's a fish gaming character for a hero, and I think it's on the Genesis. I don't know the game, and I could be wrong about the system because I, I never actually played the game. But I, I think there's like a fish platformer game that may or may not actually be good, and I want to say it's on the Genesis. I I, I might look this up randomly on the side because <laughs> now I'm curious. Now I want to know. You look like a fucking fit. You, you know what? Whatever. I'm going to look it up live. Uh, fish Genesis game. Uh, or yellow fish Genesis game. Uh, none of that is what I'm talking about. Um, I thought there was a fish. There's Freddy Fish. That's a PC game, I think. If I remember correctly, there's Shark Tale, fucking Seaman, friggin' disturbing ass Dreamcast game. Um, what the fuck game am I talking about? I swear there's a fish. I don't know, if I ever find this, I'm gonna like share it or something. I don't, I don't fucking remember, whatever. Uh, all right, so back to what we were actually doing. Um, Bomb Man, I don't, uh, he's probably, he's. He's not great. He's not great. I can even justify putting him a D, honestly. He, he, he looks kind of stupid. They need to break up his Mohawk a bit and be a bit considerate of where they change the colors at. Yeah. 
for sure. You know what? He's going in D. Sorry, bum man. You're just you're just not cool enough. We're moving on to Mega Man 2. Here's Bubble Man. He's got a scuba suit. He's got a scuba suit. He's got the little flippers. And he's pretty solid. I don't know why he's randomly in black there. But he is. There's uh, one of the pictures we used. It's this, this, I think that's just Japanese box art for two. Looks wise, I was seeing him as a joke. I mean, he kind of is. He kind of is. That's not Bubble Man, but Bubble Man's down there, I guess. Um little chibi version. I don't know where that came from because there's no power up for Mega Man 2. Uh, we're going to stick him firmly in... Let's see. Do, do, do we see the logic in that? Do we, do, do, we, do we think that's fair? And actually, you know, you're an artist. So, like... I think you got some good takes on this. You know, that, that, that's definitely something we're considering. We are we are considering mostly looks here. How good are his powers? They're crap. Uh, <laughs> his powers are bubble lead. It is a bubble that slowly travels across the screen. That is it. I think his design's better in Bomb Man, but not by much. Useful ever? Uh, he is... He is good against Heat Man. And he is the weakness for the final boss of the game. It's kinda it. It ain't it ain't great. I always forget the final tracks in uh each of these games is just the sound effects. Which is a weird thing they did in uh in some soundtracks for games. Moving on to Ninja Gaiden 2. Not much going for Bubble Man. Yeah, I think he's firmly I think he's firmly in C. We're moving on here. Uh so who's next? Airman. Airman's next. I'm literally going in like the stage select order for each game, I think. At least so far anyway. Airman. I think he's top tier, honestly for uh, a boss for, for like a design perspective he's got the fans he looks that's so that's how he looks in the 90s TV series he looks absolutely absurd there um, I don't like that look but we're gonna go mostly off the games so that's what he looks like There's a better one. Like the color choices and the use of the fans? Same. Same. Here's that picture. A little chibi version. Alternate color version, I guess. Please stick to his game version. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> that, that's so dumb. If we were ranking this, it would be <laughs> he'd be right there with Bob Man. But no, we're we're not we're not going based off of that. Uh, so yeah, 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 yeah. I I think I think he's here. That's my opinion. I think he's us. <laughs> Pick is F quality. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what they were thinking with that. Like, they made everybody else look like what they were supposed to. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking with that. Anyway. Um, 
Let's move on. We're gonna go to uh, Quick Man. Whew, the alert actually gets higher. Um, all right, so Quick Man. Simple. Mega Man has me appreciate yellow much more than I do. Like, yellow is actually not one of my favorite car colors, like, at all. But I'm noticing with Mega Man that it really makes me appreciate yellow. Yeah, a lot of these bosses. But he's pretty simple. You know, he's got the... He's he's quick. He's got the, the boomerang thing going on, which is his weapon that he uses, a quick boomerang. They like yellow and red a lot. Yeah, clearly. They sure do. They sure do. Quick Man. I think Quick Man goes in A. I think that I think that's my vote, personally. I'm on the bottom of A. I don't think he's as cool looking as these other two. You can kind of compare him to Quick Man in a way, but there's something about the simplicity of Cut Man that just you know edges him out for me. But I think it's the same category. I, I, I say A is a good place for him. You let me know what you think. Um, who's next in order of bosses? Heat Man. So, Heat Man's a bit of a mixed bag. Because on one end, he's kind of derpy looking. On the other end, it's actually kind of clever, Heat Man. Because he's actually just like a lighter. That opens up. Kept too close to humanoid designs of the bosses, mostly. Yeah, I would. Uh, I would say that's a very accurate statement. That's Heat Man. I think that's him in the TV series, which isn't like all that much different. Although he looks a little too square there. He doesn't look rounded out. Yeah, that that's more like it. That's that's from the game. That's from the game. Game artwork. It's clever, but they failed to pull it off. Yeah, you think they uh, they failed at it? He looks like a box that became sentient. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's what that's what I'm saying. Like, on one hand, it's clever. On the other, he's really just derpy looking. Like, would we even care at all? If he didn't have actual firepower. But he gets points off there too. Because like it's. There's already a fireman. And he looks better. So. I think at bottom of B or C. I'm going to go even lower. I'm actually going to put on the current bottom of C. These lists are going to fill out, so we're going to swap around some orders. But uh, at the very least, like within tiers. But yeah, I, I think I think that's where he, Yeah, I'm, I, I feel good about that. That's where he's going. Um, who's next? Woodman. Which, you know. What a name. Woodman. It's a tree stump. <laughs> These freaking show versions. There's Woodman. I think he suffers from the same thing Heatman does. I think it's more creative. But 
He's also kind of derpy. Damn, D? Alright. That's... I don't know about D. Like of creativity. You think he's worse than Heat Man? Are, are we sure about this? <laughs> oh, man. A little chippy version. He's a wood stump. Yeah, it, that, yeah, it's it's what he is. Yeah. Because you mentioned like the, I, I'm kind of comparing this to the same logic as Heat Man, where we know what they were going to going with, but they didn't pull it off. Whereas with Woodman, we very obviously know uh, what he is. You know, maybe based on that logic, we stick him right here. You know, for as good as Mega Man Two is, we already got three of the <laughs> three of their bosses in C tier. Not uh, not not the best designed bosses, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I can uh. Again, we can possibly, like, go back to some of these. There, there's a ton of freaking uh, Robot Masters, obviously. Who is in the bottom? Metal Man. Metal Man. You know what? I think it's legit just us at this point. Um... I know Dan popped in at one point. I'm not sure if you're still here or if you're lurking or whatever. Um, feel free to participate by all means um, if you are here. But also, um, I'm going to do this regardless of uh, participation. I'm just going to keep switching stuff accordingly. I keep switching music because I can. Yeah, that's fair. Um, It's very possible. All right, so Metal Man. Um, again, red and yellow. There he is in the TV series. Which, you know... It's pretty close. Metal Man. TV series does this justice to the designs. Yeah, it's... It's very different. Even, like, Mega Man, right? Like, this is the... First of all, the 90s TV series is cheesy as fuck. <laughs> but I love it. It's fucking hilarious. Uh, 90s. See? Like, here's Mega Man. From that. And there's Mega Man and Rush on the title screen. Here's a cover. Here's a, a cover for... I actually own this set. A complete series set. Proto Man looks pretty awesome. Anywho. Uh, Metal Man. Kind of like his design. Yeah, same. I think Metal Man's one of the better design ones in that game. For sure. 
His poses are neat, too. Uh, it's comic book stuff, apparently. So we're going uh, really far into that one. Um, I'm going to put him... On top of A. That's what I think. And he's a pretty good one. Flashman. This guy. Kind of boring, actually. Very boring, actually. It's another Mega Man 2 boss. It's just not faring very well. Uh... <laughs> He's the bottom. My opinion. There's that. And I don't think there's anything particularly exciting about this guy. Think you look like yellow? I mean, yeah. True, I I don't. Uh, and I said this, but Mega Man is makes me appreciate uh, Yellow more than I normally do. Like, there's a lot of decent designs. Hey, look, it's the, it's the two boring people together, <laughs> or two design, or two boring ish. Right, maybe, maybe maybe I'm a little too harsh on Flash Man. Um, but, you know what? Based on that picture, he's going here. That, that's, that's what we're doing. These guys belong together. Barrett and Woodman? Alright, fine. I'll give you that. Uh, th there he goes. Alright. Um, Crash Man. Almost done with Mega Man 2. Mega Man 2 ain't doing so great in the design department. Another tier list people can shit on me for. <laughs> High C. Yeah, it's, it's only just behind Bubble Man. It's because Bubble Man's got the scuba suit, so he's going to stay in front of Flash Man. There's Crash Man. Creativity was taken up by the gameplay. I guess you could say that in some cases, yeah. But it's kind of like Pokemon, right? You, you make enough of these guys and eventually you're going to run out of ideas. Although th this happened quicker than Pokemon for sure. <laughs> Not working for me. No. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think he's anything particularly special. Can I not have this thing in the way, though? Uh, I don't think there's anything particularly special about Crash Man. And the thing with Crash Man 2 is there's also a Drill Man. Which doesn't hit the series until 4. Um, I know his weapon is Crash Bomb. Like, I don't know. I expect his arms to be different. I don't know. He's, uh, he's kind of mid. Below mid, I would say. Here he goes. Yep, middle C. That, that, that's where he's going. Look at this. It, people are not going to like me. We, we are going to get shit emojis. We are going to get shit on so bad for this. Ah, oh, this is hilarious. That's Mega Man 2. Um, whoops, I closed the wiki. 
So, Sparkman. Starting with Mega Man 3 now. It's not based on the actual gameplay. I, I, no, I, I mean, it's, it's... Like, am I considering it somewhat, if I want to think about it a little harder? Yes. Is it mostly what I'm going for? No, not really. This guy's a bit of hit or miss for me. On one hand, he's kind of derpy. On the other hand... I like what they were going for. Like, he's not as rounded as the other ones. I, I, I like that he's, like, top-heavy, but then, like, kind of skinny. And he's got the little needles that help conduct the spark between, like, his hands and his head and whatever. Like, it, it's... Oh, like man's not so amazing cousin. That's a good comparison, actually. He, he, he's not quite there. Top heavy, thin bottom. Yeah, exactly. Hey, it's it's from the uh, the weapon selection screen. That's really small, but looks way better there. When he can't focus as much as on his midsection, it looks a lot better. And again, I don't necessarily think it's bad, and it does make him different from the others. Think Sparkman. If I can find him. Where the fuck is Sparkman? Uh where the fuck is Sparkman? There he is. He's going to the bottom of B, that's where he's going. That's where I think Sparkman goes. Bottom of B. Moving on. Snake Man. I really like Snake Man's design. You know, they actually didn't do him disservice in the show. He's a ridiculous character in the show. And appears pretty often, like more often than some of the other ones that only appear like once or twice. But I, I actually like his design. I think Snake Man's one of the better uh, design ones, in my opinion. He looks ridiculous, but I think it's the style of the show. Yeah, it really is. His weapon's not great, but as we said, we're not really uh, basing it off of that. Better design than most? Yeah, I'd say so. There you go, Snake Man. Top A, that's where you're going. Or, or do we put him right next to... Uh, do, we, do we put him... Do we keep Metal Man in front of him? I go either way on that one. The within A tier. Not top A. Hey, again, like get further into this as we as we keep going. I, I think we'll just place him in A and then like see it. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, that that's Let's stick with that for now. Um, all right. Needleman. Needleman. This one's another one I'm kind of mixed on. Why with this other shit that's just appearing on screen? There's Needleman. Man. 
<laughs> that picture looks absurd. He's not even in this picture. Oh, there he is. Good design, but not overly impressive. Yeah, I'd say that's a pretty good uh, take on that. Sounds like a perfect candidate for the B tier. I think Sparkman edges him out a little bit, though. Hardman. Another one that's a questionable name. Uh, <laughs> more so than Woodman. Um... I don't think this one's particularly great either. In fact, it's probably worse. D. <laughs> you know, honestly, I'm not going to disagree with that. <laughs> He's shitting himself. Uh, I, I can't disagree with that either. It just, it, it comes out from there, right? <laughs> it, it, <laughs> poor hard man. You, you are, you are the bottom of the list right now. Even, even bomb man beats you. Going through Mega Man 3 pretty quickly. Top man. Okay, so like, he's kind of absurd, but I kind of like it. If, if I'm being honest. It's another one that's like, simple, but kind of awesome. Maybe not to the same effect as Cutman, but. What the fuck? It's obviously from the com the comic, but what the fuck is that? Oh, you know what? That's the freaking cat mini boss thing that appears in the game. That's what that is. You know, based on the description I gave him, I'm going to stick him right next to Cut, man. Actually, I don't know. Do I really think he's A tier? Maybe not. Maybe not that good. Maybe top of B tier. I, I go for either or. Like any of these, I, deserve, I reserve the right to change my mind later. Um, all right, so next, Gemini Man. Gemini Man is next. He can fit both. Yes, but there can only be one. We can only make one choice. Um, let's see. Huh, Gemini Man appears as two people because he can split into two people, but whatever. We're just going to go based off of one. Uh, they actually kind of make him look derpy there. I, I really like his armor, though. I've always liked the look of Gemini Man. I don't know what half that other shit is. It's not like run out of good pictures. Is 
Design is interesting. His face is lame. You got you got some good critique on this. I like it. I like mostly agree with them too. Sounds like a B. We're sti we're gonna stick him straight in the middle too. Okay. Three might be the quickest one yet. Magnet Man. This is uh, another bias category, I think, for me. I love, love Magnet Man. It just so happens that both Magnet Man and Elect Man are both pretty good powers in game as well which of course does help the case but not really what i'm basing it on i even have i'm gonna show off something real quick give me a second they got this little statue thing um one of the years we went to magfest he's a bit dusty but uh th this is custom made by somebody um and it's, it's kind of ridiculous because it's Magnet Man. But what they did was he's got the surprise look because he is um, doing magnet things but attracted a toaster. So knocked himself in the head. Even if it makes... This depiction of Magnet Man looked a little stupid. I thought it was cool enough to own. Many I, we're sticking this guy right here. That's where he's going. Um, Shadow Man. He's a ninja. Yeah. I mean, I was honest for the get-go, right? <laughs> I, I like him. I like him. I really do. I mean, feel free to, you know, challenge my opinion, especially with, like, your artist opinion of sorts as well. Um, but I don't know. I just think he's really good. Uh, same with Shadow Man, actually. Not as exciting. But I do like his design as well. Um, again, not done justice in the show. Um, I don't even know where that's from. I feel like maybe he suffers from Gemini Man Syndrome, where the design is cool, but the face is not... Let it stay. All right, cool. It's 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 got the second nod, so I feel better about it. Design is good, yeah. That's that's all I'm saying. Like, but not so much the face, right? It's, it's, it's kind of like it, I feel the same way, like with Gemini Man. Probably better than Gemini Man. I even like the, the little like mesh here, too. I think. I think it's an A. Keep picking art that has lame faces. I mean, I gotta look outside the wiki then, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Because, like, a lot, a lot of what's on the wiki is official. It, it just, I, I don't know how to decide the other stuff. Let me see Shadow Man. But if I, I just, like, generic Google, it's going to show a bunch of other stuff, too.
Yeah, see, like, it's all the same. Like, there's a lot of this now is, like, custom art. There's the sprite. But you can't appreciate the mesh on the sprite. So I'm in a slide animation. Even this guy's deviant art. Uh, oh, it switches between stuff. Um, I was gonna say, even that guy's deviant art. I think this is the solution to that. Quick man has been knocked down a tier. Uh, that's that's what I think. That's Mega Man 3. It went through 3 pretty quickly. So, Mega Man 4. What do we got? Um, Who starts that ring man? Ringman's kind of absurd. Although from a design perspective, is he is he really that bad? It's actually kind of good. It's gonna happen when how many bosses there are out of rank. Yeah, like it. Like he's kind, of, he's kind of ridiculous, but like in a good way. It's energetic and fun. Yeah, that, yeah, they, they, they nailed it. Like it just sounds not intimidating, you know. Ring man. Although funny enough, he's probably one of the harder robot masters of the game. And his weapon is semi decent. Yeah, you know, the more I look at it, it's actually pretty good. It fits the theme. You know what, Ringman? You're alright. You're alright. There you go. Dive man. It's uh, another scuba, basically. Outside of the fact that this looks like a, it it, it looks like hard man. They tried more on the design for sure to meet the theme, but he looks very similar to Hardman. Yeah, I agree. It, it, it's better. They they definitely tried more, but still like not amazing. I think he belongs with these guys here.
Yeah. It can go right next to Flash, man. Bubble Man's the better underwater. I think, still. Uh, Skull Man. This one's, like, really fucking cool. Fuck is that? You know, if only the skull barrier was actually as cool as that picture is. There he is without the skull barrier. Yeah. It's neat. I don't know if it's quite S tier. In fact, I wouldn't say it's quite S tier. Because I feel like a big part of that is just basing it off of this very picture, which looks cool as fuck. Otherwise, I think it's solid A. Eh? They knew how to work with this theme for sure. That's what does it. And even though this graphic doesn't do it any justice because of what happened there. Um, I think we're going to stick them in A. High A. Yeah, that, that, sounds, that sounds good. Maybe even the leader of A. He, he's within these first three for sure. Leader of A, yeah. I kind of want to give the slight edge to Metal Man, but I don't know. Maybe I'll revisit it. Or I'll keep it as is. He's good. He's good. All right, so that's Gold Man. Um, Pharaoh Man. Metal Man's design isn't as good. Now, is that like the opinion on the matter or maybe just cause there's too much yellow and red throughout the game or throughout the series? Here's Pharaoh Man. That's an awesome picture of Pharaoh Man, but it's for Mega Man 8. Which I mean, it's whatever, it's still still counts there's him from the series and honestly even in the tv series it doesn't look that bad okay i don't i don't have uh Like, honestly, I can just say no right out of the bat, but I'll, I'll humor that. Because um, I don't have, like, strong feelings one way or the other. Like, they both are, are decent enough and have, like... Here, I mean... Let me just do that. Uh, Metal Man. So that's Metal Man, that's Gold Man. Where else Metal Man? Where did I put him? Yeah, I agree. 
I agree. It stays. All right. Uh, Pharaoh Man. We're done with Shadow Man. Why is that open? Um... So is Pharaoh Man actually good, or played a little too safe with him? Because on one hand, I like the design, the color scheme works, so on and so forth. But on the other hand, I don't feel like enough separates him from like other Robot Masters that look similar outside of the theme. Yeah, and, and that's why I like it. But comparing it to some of the other ones that really separated that like that that that's where i i have the struggle there um because i do really like feral man I think that's where we put him. Kind of smack in the middle of B because just looking at those other guys, uh, I think he looks cooler than them. Yeah, I'm pretty confident with that. Um, Bright Man. Uh, you can't quite see the light bulb on his head there. Bright man. I never did like this guy. It's kind of derpy. And like, I suppose that was the point, but. <laughs> there he's all happy. <laughs> That's the shitty figure. <laughs> it looks so bad. Oh man. This is uh this is it's not great. That's where he goes. It's just above Woodman and Heatman. That's where he goes. And actually, I'm going to give him one more up. He's going to go above Crashman, too. But that, that that's where he stays. That's my final answer. Toad Man. I mean, it's a frog. What, what else can you really say, you know? <laughs> he looks so dumb. 
fucking TV series. Is he the coolest robot master? Far from it. Do I think they nailed it? Yeah, kinda. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this guy safely, uh... There you go. Toad Man's the leader of the B tier now. Yeah. I, I, I think that's where he's going. All right. Uh, Drill Man. Which is evidently Crash Man. <laughs> but Drill Man. Since he's actually themed off of a drill... And again, we go with the red and yellow. It's okay. Uh, I think he's, he's a little mid. Not the worst, not the best. Like his divine overall. What do you like about it so much? Eight here, really? Really now? That is uh that is more credit to the fucking ridiculous figure. Oh my god. Um Oh hey, look at that. Is that a that's that's not the TV show, is it? No, it's not. That can't be the TV show. That's gotta be something else. That's gotta be like some other anime or some shit. And the reason I know this is because Pharaoh Man has like a green undershirt or suit or something in the series. I don't know. Strong design. Alright. I'll bite. Wear it A tier. There he goes. I don't think he edges out ring man. But above cut man? Cool. We'll leave him there. Uh, we only have one more for Mega Man 4. Uh, Dust Man. Yeah, I think so. But that's something else, you know. We, we have a lot of Robot Masters to go through, and we're almost... We're, we're getting closer and closer to done. But then we can, you know, mess around with orders a bit if we want before we put a nice bow on the whole thing. Uh, the hell time is it now? We've killed a lot of time on this. Oh, my God. We just killed, like, a whole other hour on this. It's... This is content. <laughs> this is content. If I actually do put this on... Uh, on YouTube, it's, it's going to be a bit. It's definitely one of those longer videos. Where I'm also sitting here. We can definitely give the easy credit to games now, too. With, like, music I'm playing. Because, obviously, it's... Uh, Doing Mr. Spotify. Um, Alright, cool. So, Strangely Works, yeah. I've always thought that. <laughs> oh my god. Again, the TV series. I, I can't even. Alright, um, okay, cool. So, there's... 
There's Dustman. Guy looks more ridiculous with all this other art, but uh, this, this picture really like does him justice. Like in game, I actually don't really like this guy, but again, we're, like there's much more of design perspective than anything else. So like he he's a uh, he, he's one of the better ones. Powerhouse of a giant vacuum, yeah, pretty much. I put him firmly in the B tier. That's where he's going. Mega Man 4 is done. On to five. Stone Man. Stone Man's a kind of less obvious derpy guy, but like not that exciting either. It's actually not bad in the in the show. They didn't they didn't completely fuck up his design. They did pretty good with that one in the show. Okay, can we stop with these videos though, or whatever ads and shit? I need to plug like ad blocker or some shit. Um, look back at the tier list. We are back. Oh, where are we playing this guy? I don't think he's, like, that exciting, honestly. Um, you know what? I could put him, like, Guts Man, I feel like they reskinned him. Yeah, kind of. I think this guy maybe goes around here. 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 Somewhere around here. Let's go with Gravity Men. I like Gravity Men. Since I'm specifically going to the wiki. Yeah, that's the picture I used. I actually think this is one of the more unique designs. Absolutely absurd in the show. Uh, like, look at this. Look at this fucking picture. It's so good. And his frame is very different. From, like, pretty much anything else we've seen to this point. And as I described this, I might actually, I feel like he's, uh, actually better than I initially thought I would, I might grade this guy. Like, it's pretty fucking good. Not my favorite, but it's good design. Yeah, I mean, that, that's what matters, right? We're not going to put him in S. I'm going to stick this guy. Right here. Between ring and drill. I think it's a good place for him. Uh, 
Flame Man. No, that's Mega Man 6, JK. Um, Crystal Man. S is reserved for the amazing designs. Absolutely. Uh, out of all the Robot Masters, which I forget the exact math on, I want to say 46. Um, out of the 46 Robot Masters, only three have been graced the tier of S. But even less have been graced the tier of shit. <laughs> so there's that. All right, so Crystal Man. That picture really does him no justice. He's also green in the game. So that's kind of weird to look at. Okay, that that's more like what he is in game. Uh he Looks weird. He looks weird. They lean into being shiny and blue. Yeah. Like, outside of the clear crystal parts, it's kind of mid. He's kind of mid. That's where I'm putting him. Actually, I don't think Sparkman is worse looking than him. All right, uh, who's next? I'm starting to forget where bosses are in these games. I don't have to do them in order, but like, I've been re remembering it up to this point. Uh, fuck. Napalm Man's on the right of Mega Man. Who's to the left of Mega Man in five? I do not remember. Charge Man. Charge Man is definitely on theme. But how much do I truly like the design? It is the question. Maybe a little more than I was initially thinking in my head. But I think that's only just a little bit. He's comical, but certainly in a better way than uh, some of the other, like, shit tier designs. Let's put it that way. How about, how about C for Charge Man? How about that? Top of the list, though. Maybe we'll bump him up to low B. I'll, I'll see how I feel about that in a little bit. Um, so, Napalm Man. I 
I think it's a good design. It's definitely different. We probably need to start bumping some down today. Yeah, it's possible. Um, it's very possible. I don't know if it shrinks them after a certain point. Hold on. Oh, no. Okay, it just does that. Right. Yeah. Duh. Okay. I forgot. Yeah. It, 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 it adjusts for it. It adjusts for it. But you're probably right. Yeah. I, I, I really like this one. Um, this is going in A, is what I think. I think it's where he's going. You know what? I think I'm going to come back to these three specifically here. But I'll make that decision later. Um, okay, so Napalm Man. He's he's golden. Um, Wave Man. I feel like I already know where I'm going to put Wave Man. I like some design aspects, mostly like the helmet. The Trident helmet is my favorite thing about his design. Yeah, pretty much. It's like a combination of Dive Man and Bubble Man. But better than both of them. I think that's where he's going. Uh, Starman. Almost done with Mega Man 5. Starman's kind of silly. Really bad in the show. don't like D <laughs> you know for as silly as he kind of looks he's definitely different as placid with stars yeah I don't know that different means good in this case I struggle with D. Because, like, is Heat Man or Wood Man really better? <laughs> is my thought with that? I don't know. I do. I do. I just haven't thought anything was like that bad until that 
You know, that might be where Plant Man goes, honestly. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll put him in for now. Actually, you know what? D just got more full. How about that? Shit's getting real now. Centaur Man. You know, I posted this. Centaur man, he is gonna go. Wait, what am I doing? Centaur man's in six. Whoops, I went out of order there, but whatever. We picked him, so. <laughs> Fuck me. Um, I'm gonna come back to him. Because we should have looked up. We're, we're already on him. We're, 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 we're doing it. <laughs> we, we, fu we fucked up. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. They, they clearly wanted that. Um, I kind of like this guy. I think it's where I'm going. Yeah, as as I decided, yeah, I I think that's right. All right, so who I was supposed to pick? Uh, I picked Centaur Man in that slot, in the bottom right slot, the bottom right most slot. But this is actually Mega Man Six, not Mega Man Five. I should have picked. Gyro Man is the next one. So I screwed up the order ever so slightly. They're both green, in fairness. <laughs> uh, so there's Gyro Man. Who really doesn't look a ton different from Bubble Man. He just has a gyro. There he goes. Fucker's going in C tier. All right, now let's go to Mega Man 6, even though we technically did already. Uh, Blizzard Man. I mean, you kind of see what you get with Blizzard Man, right? It's a robot on skis. Don't care for his design. Gyro Man? Yeah, it's 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 not great. 
Um. What, what do we think of Blizzard, man? He's just okay. Well, just okay can go... Who did we say Stone Man looked similar to? Was it Hard Man? I don't remember. Um, all right, let's go to next in the list. Let's go to Wind Man. He's, uh, he's Discount Airman, is what this guy is. Hard man or guts man. Yeah, 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 that's right. Like a combination of the two, basically. Windman is a uh, discount airman. Different design, kind of similar concept, but eh. I don't really like him that much. Gonna go right there next to Gyro Man. Flame Man. He's going enough. Or, I don't have an F. There. See? That one required, like, no thought. Uh... <laughs> Plant Man, who I think is going to the same category, actually. They really messed up here. Yeah. Yeah.
Tomahawk Man. I like his design. You can go here. I think. Uh, pfft. who else? Running out of people. Actually, we only have two more bosses left. Your motto, man. Here is with a spear in these two pictures. And then Kim kind of by himself. Six has lame designs. Yeah, you know, I've, I've kind of been thinking that. Like, it, it hasn't been really too hard to... Uh, for as great as the game is... The, the designs are kind of bad. I think some of these games are taking very clear tiers. Stick them and see. I, I I I think I'm getting closer to one. We're closer to done, and two, I'm gonna really start changing these around. I think somewhat. Nightman. You know, I like Nightman. This is the one I think I'm going to give some credit to. What were the two that got on the box? I forget. Mega Man 6. I talked about this earlier and I forgot it. Oh, gross. Windman was the other one? Yikes. Anyway, Nightman I like. He's decent. Uh, I'll, he, he can, he gets a pass from me. Uh, I think I'm gonna stick this guy. Here. That's what I think. All right, um, that's all the Robot Masters. Um, now, from here... You know what? I'm putting Napalm, um, Na Napalm Man up there. He's, he's that unique. He's got a lot going on. I think he deserves to rule the A tier. Need to slim down B and C somehow. Well, there's some easy ways to do that, I think, because I really... I think both of these guys can go here. Um, Hardman's already in D. 
but Hardman 2.0, uh, he gets a, a cut above, but not by much. Um, Crashman's going in B. <laughs> it, it, it's just not good. Um, so is Flash. It's, it's, it's not good. Two point oh down to D. All right. This is uh looking much more even now. Now. But boy, did that D tier get a lot more crowded. And S tier only has so much. Let me go back. Um, let's, let's go look at Napalm Man one more time. They should have an F tier. I mean... Fuck the F tier go. I just added that shit. F is fail, right? Yeah. I mean, it's it's got to be. What else could it be? Can I not edit this shit? I want to interfere. That's stupid. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not letting me do stuff. Not sure why. Oh, well, I guess it stays as is. Because, like... Wait. Aha! Uh -huh. Nailed it. Easy. You know what? There we go. I 
I think that's the list. I think this is the final list. Skullman can stay on top of A because we have moved Napalm up to S. And it's pretty well rounded now, so I think it's uh I think it's good. I think it's good. Starman and all his originality is actually just a fucking fail, because it's kinda ugly. Should be a few and F for a good series of games. Yeah. Um There's actually one in there from I was going to say every part, but that's not true. Two and four designs skipped the F tier entirely. And I think that just speaks for how good they are as games. But, again, we're not really basing it on that. Um, Skullman's graphics should not show up like this on other people's computers or whatever. I think we're good. As it is close to or about to be 3 in the morning. Um, I think we are done here. Speaks about how they put focus on the character design for sure. For sure. Alright, so we're going to save this just like the other one. Uh. And we're good. That's it. We did it. Good for getting sleep. Same. Like, I could stay up a bit longer, but... Probably won't have that much incentive to anyway. Um, so, yeah, I am good. Monica, thank you for your input. It's actually been super helpful uh, with the whole, you know, being an artist and all that. Um, it's been interesting to get those perspectives. Um, this will be revisited. If we ever visit the second catalog of the... It won't be for a while, but if we kind of do the same thing that we were doing for the effectively the other half of the classic series, then I'll probably go back to these same two lists and update them. But until then, these are good where they're at. Um, I might share them in a couple places just to see what's what. And um, that's it. This has been fun. So, with all that said, given how late it is, good night, everybody. Have a good one. Thank you for coming along. And uh, I will catch you guys the next time, which very likely, because I, I definitely have run out of stuff now. And also definitely am not going to stream enough to be able to play through all of Lies of P, which will happen at some point. Don't know when. So next stream is probably a week from now with Shadow of the Earth Tree, Elden Ring DLC. Have a good night, everybody. Take care. Later.